COVID has certainly changed the way that a lot of kids learn. Phrases such as Google Meet, distance learning, Zoom calls, they're now part of the everyday vernacular. Yeah, most of our young kids, they know their way around a computer better than <laughs> most of us at this point. COVID has also increased the number of families that homeschool or use online academies. So back to school looks a little bit different now. Last year, homeschool families jumped from 5% to 11%, according to the U.S. Census. Three young boys, two working parents, one busy family, and a family that learned in the pandemic that they could make homeschooling work. I've always worked and I love what I do, but I had no idea how much I've missed with my kids. And so just being with them, understanding who they are more as individuals, their struggles, their character flaws that we need to work on. Carrie Burton and her husband found a lot of support groups to show how it's done and also online classes for those subjects they can't teach. Again, our kids did Spanish immersion, so we're still able to continue the Spanish tutoring online with native speakers one-on-one -on -one that go through um, reading and writing with our kids. In many ways, the same Spanish curriculum or similar, similar Spanish curriculum that they would have. Homeschooling has definitely become less intimidating as there are, because there is because of the internet. We all have access to so many diff more resources, so it's a lot less intimidating to start. Ellen Crane started a Facebook page called Minnesota Homeschoolers with a friend about seven years ago. It's jumped to about 7,000 followers since the pandemic began. We started it because the way that people start homeschooling is that they get support from people who already are homeschooling. That's how, that's how everyone learns to homeschool. Families looking for alternatives but not ready to homeschool have also flocked to public schools that are online. Cyber Village Academy in St. Paul started 24 years ago with an online option with a small following. They now have 240 students and offer in-person, hybrid, and 100% online public schooling. What do you see schools like yours becoming? I think it's going to become the norm. I think we're going to see more and more. I mean, I would say probably like 10 years ago, I'm like, education has to change because we're becoming not a sit and get society. Nicole Rasmussen says you just need to think about what works best for your family. I've done the big public, I've done the private, I've done the small charter schools. You know, I've been in these different spaces and people are like, well, what's the best? And I'm like, it depends on the kid. Hmm. Many school districts are still offering those online academies as part of the public school system. And there are many online charter schools that are public as well, both 100% free. We've linked some resources to our story on fox9.com.